Hey guys, it's Jay and welcome to our ship tour feature for the Crown Princess. We sailed her for 10 days in February and March of 2020. There were a few areas we actually didn't get to over the course of the cruise, but we'll point those out as we come to them. So you enter the Crown Princess on deck 6 into the piazza, but let's go ahead and jump down and start on deck 5 because it just makes more sense. So the piazza is the main lobby area, and this is where you will find things like the International Cafe, which is open 24 hours, serving sandwiches, salads, desserts, and a whole lot more deliciousness. They also have Vines, which is a wine bar that, oddly enough, also served sushi. Very quaint and cozy with sort of that wine cellar vibe. Also here on Deck 5, you will find Escapes, which I believe is their escape room concept, and that is for a fee. The Travel Cafe the future cruise sales area, and the internet cafe. Just forward of the piazza is the Princess Fine Arts Gallery, which we didn't spend a ton of time in, but we did walk through a couple of times. And just aft of the piazza, you will find the Michelangelo Dining Room, which is one of two flexible time dining rooms on board. You can also see on this graphic the Medical Center, which is down on Deck 4. So moving up to Deck 6 with a few more shots of the piazza. Look at all those beautiful welcome banners just welcoming us on board. Here on Deck 6, you'll find the Passenger Services Desk, Shore Excursions, also Meridian Bay and Calypso Cove, which are some of your shopping venues. We didn't really go in the shops on our sailing. Moving aft of the piazza, you'll find the Da Vinci Dining Room, which is the other flexible time option. And there's also the Botticelli dining room all the way in the back. Uh, we didn't have any video of this one. This was the fixed time dining room, and that just was not our jam. So moving back through the piazza forward now, you come to Gatsby's Casino, the Casino Bar, and the Speakeasy Cigar Lounge. We don't really have a ton of footage of this area, just a few shots of us passing through, because a lot of times they're not really comfortable with you videoing in the casino when it's open. Sliding further forward, you'll find the Conference Center, which actually we spent a good amount of time in here because this is where they held things like the steel drum classes. Uh, they also had the pop choir rehearsals in here, lots of other fun events sort of behind the scenes things. And at the very front of the ship, you will find the lower level of the Princess Theater, which seats, I believe, about 800 folks. And this is where you'll find all of your big production shows over the course of the cruise. So let's go ahead and hop up to deck seven, which is still inside the Princess Theater, the upper level. Moving aft now, we will pass the Captain's Circle desk and head to the Wheelhouse Bar, which is a nice little nautical themed bar. They had a lot of live music and things in the evenings. Very, very cute. And of course, in the evenings, the wheelhouse did double as the Salty Dog Gastro Pub, home of the famous Ernesto Burger. Deck 7 is also home to the library, as well as Facets and Essence, which I believe are more shopping venues that we did not explore. Have crooners lounge and bar which is your piano bar concept really comes alive in the evenings jamming out those piano tunes a little further aft we have explorers lounge which is another venue we spent a good amount of time in you'll find lots of games with the staff in the evenings uh, this was magic shows live music trivias crown grill is the upcharge steakhouse option but we did go in here for the free british pub lunch which happened two times over the course of our 10-day cruise delicious. Moving further aft, you'll find the photo gallery in case you need to capture some of those memories or, you know, maybe buy a memory card for your camera. This was also home to an area called the waterfront, which kind of seemed to be like a tech help area. Like if you had questions about the app or anything like that, you could go here and the folks would help you, you know, learn to use it, get it installed on your phone, whatever you needed help with. And at the very back of the ship is Club Fusion. Again, we spent a lot of time in here. This was the venue for uh, bingo, line dance classes, morning Zumba, trivia, karaoke, voice of the ocean auditions, all that good stuff. While we're wandering around, I'll point out some of the nice deck maps and navigational aids that they had around the ship. And of course, big old digital screens that you could use to look up what activities were going on around the ship, as well as connect to different ocean medallion type resources, play games, all kinds of stuff. The Crown Princess does also offer self-serve laundromats, and we did spend a hot minute in there doing some laundry, so we'll insert some of that footage here as well. It was a system where you convert your cash to tokens and then use your tokens for the washers and dryers. Very handy. They also had irons, ironing boards, and stuff like that. 
So those are the main inside decks. Let's go ahead and jump up to deck 15 and see some sunshine. We'll start here at the Neptune's Reef and Pool. Nice big pool area with two hot tubs. This is also where they had the sail away party. And you'll find the Mermaid's Tail, which is a bar. It also seemed to be called Mix as we passed by it. Not sure there. The Trident Grill, where you can get some included burgers and dogs. This also had signage calling it the Salty Dog. And we also have the Pizza and Ice Cream Zone. Mm, that's a good zone. Moving now to the second pool, the Calypso Reef and Pool area also has two hot tubs and the Calypso Bar. And you can see here one of the towel stations. It's kind of just an honor system that you can pick up because they don't put the pool towels in the room, but you can just grab them on an as-needed basis. And now we hit the buffet areas. We have Horizon Court, which is the larger buffet dining area. We tended to find more selections in the buffet lines here. And then just aft of that is the Carib Cafe, which is slightly smaller, a little bit more limited buffets, but sometimes there was more seating available back there. So we would grab our food from Horizon, head back to Carib, and find a table. But we love the buffet options on here. So many choices. And they had a lot of different theme nights at dinner. We personally went up there for the British and Indian night, as well as the Fisherman night, but we know they had German, all kinds of themes. Here's a quick shot of some of the beverage stations here in the buffet area. A lot of nice options to choose from. And at the very back of deck 15, you'll find Horizon Terrace and the Outrigger Bar, and that kind of overlooks the Terrace Pool, which is technically down on deck 14, but I think you have to access it from here on deck 15. Jumping up to deck 16 now, we have Sabatini's, which is the upcharge Italian restaurant. We didn't eat here, but we kind of peeked in. And Adagio, which is the bar next door. They advertise more movies under the stars seating here on 16. We watched our movies under the stars on deck 15. Such cozy chairs, such buttered popcorn. We also have the trade winds area and bar, which I don't believe we spent any time in. And at the very front, we have the wedding chapel as well as the Lotus Spa Pool Fitness Center. And there's a small area of that also on deck 15 below. Our last deck map actually includes deck 17, 18, and 19, so we'll start with the Sanctuary, which is an upcharged sun deck that you can enjoy for, well, right now the rates are $20 for a half-day pass, and we did not take advantage of that. You also have the Sun Terrace and the Youth Center, and Skywalker's Nightclub here on deck 18. Kind of a nice little place to relax and overlook during the daytime, and... And they turn up the tunes in the evenings for the folks who are awake enough to enjoy them. And hopping up to deck 19, we have the sports area, which is the Princess Lynx, kind of a little putting area. Cyber golf, a tennis court, and a jogging track. And good to note, there is one elevator that does come all the way up to deck 19. Very convenient. And of course, a glass elevator shot to bring it all home. And that is it for our ship tour of the Crown Princess. So we tried to make our way around to most of the venues, but we did miss a few. Can you believe it? 10 days on the ship and we still did not see the whole thing. Shame. Anyway, hopefully you did enjoy this tour. If you missed any of the vlogs from the actual trip, they are over on our channel as well. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And until next time, rock on!